Hello everybody, my name is Alfie and welcome to my channel. Now I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you're dying to know what my secret is, but before we get into that, I have to ask you all, if you haven't already, do me the huge honor and go and subscribe to my channel. I haven't been doing the best job of promoting this lately, so thank you in advance. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna spit it out. I have Matt herpes. <gasps> and before I dive into this, I wanna preface this with, I am not a doctor, obviously, but I do know how scary and confusing it was for me when I found out that I had this, and the general lack of information on YouTube about it was very surprising, so I'm gonna do my best to help. Now, if you're not sure what Matt herpes are, it's a strain of the herpes virus known as herpes simplex virus one. It is also known as HSV1 for short, or herpes gladiatorum. And yes, I did contract this through grappling. Now, the interesting thing about this virus is that it can lay dormant in your system for years. So honestly, for all I know, I could have got it when I was eight years old wrestling for their Steel Claw Wrestling Club, as well as I could have got it last year pre-COVID at a tournament. In fact, a lot of people actually have this virus for their entire lives and never have a breakout or a flare up. I am not one of those people. <laughs> Now, before you get all grossed out and click away, I want to tell you an interesting little fact that I found out. You probably have this too. That's right, 50 to 70% of all Americans are estimated to have the herpes simplex virus. So, if you're in a room with at least one other person right now, there's a good chance one of you has herpes. Have you ever got a cold sore before? Guess what? You got the herpes. So, HSV1, not to be confused with HSV2, which attacks the naughty bits, mainly affects the mouth the hands and feet, and in my case, the forehead. Actually, most cases of Matt herpes, the affected area is usually the forehead when it comes to athletes. But in some severe cases, it can affect the eyes as well. But just do yourself a favor, don't touch or scratch the area and then go and hit the head because that's a surefire way to end up with genital herpes and I doubt anybody wants that. Now, if you've contracted these lovely little lumps, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your local clinic and go see a doctor. More than likely, they're gonna take a swab of the area to uh, find out for sure if you have it or not, but most doctors are gonna be able to tell just by looking at it. They're gonna prescribe you one of two things, either a Ciclovir or Valtrex. Now, these pills obviously aren't gonna make the virus go away altogether. You're stuck with it for life. However, they will stop the spread of it and can help with the burning, scratchy, tingling sensation that you will have that comes along with a breakout. And yes, there are creams and whatnot that can help a little bit, but honestly, they're very expensive. They don't do a whole lot. So unless you really, really think you need it, save yourself the money. All right, things to avoid. You're not gonna wanna touch, scratch, poke, caress, or stroke the affected area. And absolutely no ice. Even if it burns, I know it seems like it's gonna help, but any excess amount of agitation will only make it worse and make it last longer. Take it from me, I know this for a fact. And you're gonna wanna leave it uncovered for most of the day. Even if it looks really gross, maybe take a sick day, stay at home. Uh, cover it when you go to sleep. Last thing you want is any grossness to spread onto your pillow and start breaking out in other parts of your face, right? We wanna keep this all combined to one little area if possible. And this should be an obvious one, but I'm gonna say it anyways, absolutely no grappling. I don't care if you have it taped up. I don't care if you are wearing a rash guard or if you're using liquid bandage. If you respect your training partners even a little bit, do not grapple with it, all right? Your first breakout will be the worst, but as they keep coming, trust me, they'll get smaller and smaller, and after a while, they may even stop altogether. So bear with it and know that you are not alone. And one last thing before I go, HSV1 breakouts are usually caused by stress, anxiety, and overtraining, which leads to a drop in your immune system, all right? So even if you're preparing for a tournament, Listen to your body, listen to your mind, take some time to recover. It is okay to have a rest day. Take care of yourself. And with that, I love you all. Thank you so, so much for watching. Alfie out.